morning and welcome to your daily dose of distraction because I think we all need it right now. So if um, any of you out there, which will probably be a lot, are um, staying at home quite a bit at the moment, um, you might want to listen to some audiobooks. So I thought I'd take the opportunity for your distraction today to give you um, about 10 or so really cool audiobooks that you can download right now. I'll link them all down below, um, just if you need a bit of a distraction, if you are just, you know, feeling like you need to escape for a little bit, which I think we all need to right now. So I'll link all of these audiobooks down below for you, they are affiliate links, just to let you know. I'll also leave a link down below for you if you want to get a free audiobook on Audible, um, with a free trial, one free audiobook, it is an affiliate link, I will make some money if you do sign up for the free trial, even if you cancel it after, um, so if you want to do that, that would be incredible, so everything down below. Uh, for your knowledge um, and thank you in advance. Right, let's start off with one we might all need. Um, this book really changed things for me. If you've ever heard of Mel Robbins, you know where I'm going with this. I've actually got two Mel Robbins videos for you. Actually, Mel Robbins is going live every day on her YouTube channel. I think for this week, I don't know how long she's doing it for, to help people who are suffering with anxiety right now due to everything that's going on. But the first book is The Five Second Rule. This is her biggest ever book. Um, it is amazing. It has helped me so much. Just those few numbers, five, four, three, two, one. Um, it'll really help you um, in grounding yourself, getting yourself up and active and doing something. Um, and it's all—it's not one of those hippy dippy um, kind of like wishy washy self help books. Um, and Mel Robbins, act Mel Robbins actually narrates this, backed up by you know real science, and it's absolutely phenomenal. And it changed the way that I went about day-to-day -day life when I was really struggling about a year ago. So The Five Second Rule, it's her biggest, like, massive international bestseller, would recommend on Audible. Um, second one by Mel Robbins, where is it, what is it called? Come on, it's an Audible original, so you can only get it on Audible. It's called Take Control of Your Life, and that is when you sit in and listen to her coaching sessions with different people, and then she kind of, after that, she analyzes it, it breaks it down, all these different people and what they're struggling with, um, and then backs it up with science of ways of coping mechanisms and things like that, and that one's a really good one. One as well I would recommend. Okay so the next one is again I don't know anyone who has not read this book well actually I do that's a lie um, and it is This Is Going To Her by Adam Kay. I've got both of his books I've listened to This Is Gonna Her about three times now Sky and I always listen to it he narrates it himself it's absolutely fantastic um, basically it's the Diaries of a Junior Doctor. He is a goes into gynecology and he talks about life on the front line in the NHS, but it can get a bit dark at the end, full warning, um, of course. However, it's really funny. And especially just to listen to it, that's why I like audiobooks from the author when they narrate it. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. Him, his comedy is fantastic, his humour, um, 10 out of 10 if you want a bit of a giggle, but it can get dark in places as well. So it's not just a complete, you know, it's NHS Frontline um, and there's a lot going on right now and he's talking a lot on Twitter about that because he's no longer a doctor, but you'll get into that in the book. His second book was Towards the Night Shift Before Christmas, much shorter than his first book, but again, another great one to listen to all about his stories working in hospitals in the NHS around Christmas time and all of the crazy stories he has for that. Now, a few of these I did mention in my, I think it was six travel books you should definitely read, but I will mention them again here just in case you didn't. Um, one is if you really want to giggle, if you really want a really good book to listen to and laugh, I would recommend Round Island with a Fridge by Tony Hawks. It is fantastic. Basically, he was bet, I think it was just a quid. He was bet a quid in a pub that he couldn't hitchhike around the entirety of Ireland with a fridge. And then a few months later, he actually does it. And it's his story of the people he meets and the adventures he has trying to hitchhike around Ireland with a fridge. It's brilliant and it is so funny. 10 out of 10. Another one, because if you're not traveling right now, which pretty much no one is, um, then, but you still want to have a really good travel story to listen to, then Lone Rider by Elspeth Beard is absolutely phenomenal. It's about a woman in the 80s, I think it's the 80s, I think I said that in the last video, pretty sure it's the 80s, goes solo around the world on a motorbike and it is fantastic. Her adventures, you know, there was no phones, there was no GPS in the 80s on a motorbike going across the world, solo female traveler, if you want to listen to some travel books right now and just like, you know, get some escapism, that one is 
fantastic. Sorry I'm not going super into detail on all of these, it's just I've got so many and I don't want to bore you, um, so I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of a recap. Another great one, we like to listen to biographies and things like that, so another great one is called Unnatural Causes by Dr. Richard Shepard. Um, he is a forensic pathologist, um, so he performs post-mortems after on crime, after, not on crime scenes, you know, from crime scenes, a forensic pathologist, and it's a very, very interesting listen slash read um, about his stories of how, when he got started and some of the things that he encountered along the way. So if that seems a bit up your alley, then it might be. Um, yeah, really good. Like, it's a whole different world. One you don't really get to hear much outside of, like, CSI and things like that, which aren't exactly reliable. So it's his true account of some of the things he encountered during post-mortems um, from crime scenes and things like that. So it's a really interesting one. Now this one is interesting. It's called Strange Ways by Neil Samworth. It's about a correctional officer, a prison officer, um, a Strange Ways, and we actually met someone who knew this person in Tunisia also, because he said that he was a prison officer. And we're like, oh, we just finished listening to Strange Ways. And he was like, uh-huh. Let me just fill you on the tea. It's a really good book. Um, incredible stories about life as a prison guard. Um, however, apparent. Uh, I don't know if I can say this because it might, you know. This is, I'm not, this is just a rumour. This is what we heard. That they weren't all his stories. Apparently, I don't know that. I'm not saying that as a fact. Uh, he stole some stories from other prison officers anyway. I'm going to shut my mouth right there. It is, if you didn't know that though, it is um, a really good book. It gives you like all these stories about what it's like working inside a prison with prisoners one on one. Um, so that is really interesting. Another one is The Locked Ward by Dennis O'Donnell. Um, it's about an orderly who worked in a psychiatric unit. And it's again, we like to listen to biographies of people who work in different fields. This one was super interesting to me. Um, it's about the people, the patients that he um, got to work with, their stories, his story of how he felt working with them and the things that he learnt along the way working in a psychiatric unit and um, no I really enjoyed that one definitely um, recommend if you're into that kind of stuff I know there's a lot of healthcare stuff we've got forensic pathologists we've got an orderly in a psychiatric unit um, and we've got Adam K um, you know delivering babies left right and center and this is gonna hurt um, but I find those kind of books fascinating so that'd be a good little job lot for anyone um, because it just the locked ward really gets into his psyche um, of going in day after day and it's just fascinating the way he writes it for the people he meets um, and works alongside within this psychiatric unit. 10 out of 10 would recommend that book. So super deep one is The Secret Barrister. Um, I would definitely recommend listening to this one. Um, I do follow them. No one knows if they are a male or female because uh, they're completely anonymous. Um, owned, had a blog before. This is like major, major bestseller and how everything behind that line of his job as a barrister um, has he ever known that someone is clearly guilty even though they haven't told him and he still has to defend them, things like that. Um, and how bail works, what bail actually means. And it really breaks down the criminal system from the point of view of a barrister. Um, but I definitely recommend listening to it because there's a lot going on and there's a lot to digest with a lot of terminology. So glad I listened to this one. I know people who've read it and they've had to stop sometimes because it's just, there's a lot of information, but it's a great listen. It's a long listen as well, I think. But yeah, 10 out of 10. All right, going back to something a little bit more lighthearted and just wow is a professional idiot, Steve-O. Steve-O's book is wow. Like, as you can imagine, um, Steve-O from Jackass, his story, stories, I just mind, like, you can't imagine living the life he has lived and how he has survived so long is just miraculous, to be honest. So if you're down for one that's just like a jaw-dropping, oh my god, kind of story, then definitely recommend listening to it. Just it's just a crazy ride that he takes you on, as you can imagine, but he breaks it down. He seems super like open and honest about everything within his life that he has done and very reflective looking back now. Again, I've recommended this one loads, but it's Life and Laughing by Michael McIntyre. If you, Michael McIntyre is my personal favorite comedian of all time. It's almost impossible to get any good tickets to his shows. He sells out so quickly. It is a bucket list for me to see him with good seats live, just like Lion King. Want to see it, but gotta be good seats. Um, Michael McIntyre's um, story is amazing because he, 
one, it's hilarious, so listen to it because he narrates it, so it's just funny. If you want to giggle and you like Michael McIntyre, download his book, it is brilliant. Um, but not only is it hilarious with his stories, but it also gives you an insight into the life of a comedian. Like, from the beginning of everything, from the beginning of his life, and the struggle it was. He might be, the, I think he was named a couple of years ago, the most successful comedian in the world. And it's just, but how he got there, the rejection, the de like, it's insane. Like, how many comedians would have just given up, and so many do, before they get that break, before they become successful. The journey a comedian or anyone in the arts has to take it's just astonishing. Um, so if you really want a good giggle, 10 out of 10, just download it, you'll guarantee laugh. All right, so those are my recommendations. I'll link them all down below. Now I did ask um, if anyone had any recommendations. We got one, um, this is from Rebecca on Instagram. Um, I'll do a little bit of an audience recommends. Um, Outlander audiobooks are my all time favorite. The, the woman can do so many unique voices that it seems more like a movie with only sound than a book being read. I love that in audiobooks when someone is so talented, when the narrator is like got so many accents and they can change their pitch and tone so brilliantly for the different characters. So I'll definitely be checking that out. Thank you so much. For sci fi, I definitely recommend anything by Peter Kleins. Uh, your first book should be 14. Perfect to get your mind off of these depressing times. Thank you so much. Um, and we also had an author, Luke Murphy, um, asking what genre. I said any and all. What have we got? Um, YA, is that young adult? I'm guessing. I'm an idiot. Um, the Outsiders, For Adventure, Sahara, Drama, Message in a Bottle, Horror, Thinner, For Sci-Fi, iRobot. I think I actually have that on my own. I haven't listened to it yet. Historical fiction, I'm guessing this is, The Templar Legacy and Fantasy, Maximum Ride, and then for mystery and thriller, my novel. So any of Luke Murphy's novels, love that plug. Thank you for all the information. And then Bethany says, Harry Potter, everyone will probably say why, it's overdone, everyone's read it. But listening to Stephen Fry just makes it even better. So, those are some audiobooks that you can go and download. Like I said, I'll link them all down below and the audience recommendations as well. Um, for you to go and have a look at and if you want to sign up and get a free book with audible it is an affiliate link um just as full transparency but i'll leave that link down below as well for you um, now is the perfect time to listen to some audiobooks and get distracted a little escapism and a lot in there will make you laugh as well so i hope you enjoyed your daily dose of distraction um I'm still inside, but I'm feeling a-okay. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not saying I'll do these every day, but um, I'll just, you know, if you need distracting, I'm here for you. And if you want some major distractions, follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to retweet as many fun, light-hearted things as I possibly can under the hashtag spam for your sanity. Um, so if you want to use that hashtag and just fill it with non, you know, virusy things, that would be great. Um, because everyone needs a little bit of an escape right now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, ring the bell, um, because I'm hoping to do some more live streams in this time of need. Um, and I know a lot of people miss them because they didn't tap the bell. So if you want to do that, definitely do it. Um, like and follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to, you know, get some more content throughout the day. Just some fun, like, light-hearted stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. All right, talk to you later. Loving, leaving. Bye.